Hello, I'm Claire and I'm a ceramic artist. Um, I make all sorts of things out of clay and I specialise in making sawdust fired pots. Um, you can see those on my website if you're interested. Now what I want to do in this video today is to show you how to make these little cats. I've actually made these out of air drying clay so anyone can make them, you don't need a kiln and it's easy to get air drying clay from art stores or online. So I'm just gonna show you these in a little bit more detail. So this little one is a Siamese cat. I used to have two Siamese cats. I really love Siamese cats. Actually, I love all cats. This one is a tabby. So I, I will show you how to paint them in um, other videos as well. And this little one is a little ginger kitten. So in a few seconds, you will be able to see exactly how to make these. So I hope you enjoy it. You won't really need any specialized tools. You can kind of find things at home like cocktail sticks and things like that, that will help you to, to make these. If you do want to get specialized tools, that's fine. You can get them, but um, that's fine. It's up to you. Okay, so I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, let me know which one of these you would like me to paint in the next video. So do you want Siamese, Tabby or Ginger Cat? It'd be really nice to know in the comments. Thanks a lot. See you later. Okay, so here's my air drying clay. And I just want to show you a little trick, first of all, about making the slip, which is really clay when you're attaching pieces of clay together. So all you need to do is just roll a little round ball of clay, just put a finger in it so you've made a tiny little pot, then get some water and paintbrush, put the water inside the little pot, swirl it around like this, and you've made instant slip. So that will be perfect for when you're applying two pieces together. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now put the paintbrush back in here. Right, okay, so to make the body, take some of your clay, sort of decide which what size you want it to be. Do you want it to be a big one, a small one? Mine's gonna be a medium sized one. So here's my clay. And I'm going to squeeze it into a kind of oval shape, almost, almost like an egg shape, but not quite, because I want the back to be slightly bigger than the front. Because when a cat's lying down, um, there, they seem to rise more at the back than at the front. So that kind of shape. And then what you need to do is you need to get your fingers and your thumbs and just stroke the clay. And um, that way you can get out the bumps, make it nice and smooth. And then just try and get the shape that you want. So it's almost, almost egg shape, a bit, bit of a thin egg. So that is the body, okay? So we'll put that down there. Now I'm going to do the head. So take off another little bit of clay, roll that into a ball like that. I'm just gonna get another bit of clay because I think it should be slightly bigger. So just gonna add that. So here's the head. Now the way I do the ears, is I just pinch them out. So I just pinch out a little bit of that clay. You see, can you see an ear has just been formed there? And then I just pinch out another bit on the other side. I mean, if you want to, you can roll out the clay and cut out two triangles and stick those on. It's fine, just do whatever suits you the best. I quite like pinching things and then just smoothing them after I've pinched them out and shaping them with my fingers. Okay, so just carry on doing that for a while until you are happy with the shape. Now, with this face, I like it to be slightly pinched in at the bottom because cats have got quite heart-shaped faces. So I just bring it in a little bit at the bottom like that so it's slightly heart shaped and then just carry on smoothing and the smoothing will make it smooth and also 
get the bumps out. So just carry on doing that for a while. It will take different people different amounts of time. Some people will find that the clay really, really dries up because their hands might be quite hot. Um, so what you need to do is just um, keep your clay nice and damp by just adding water to it. So there's the shape of my cat's face like that. So I'm just going to put that down and I'm going to do the two front legs. So we need for that two little bits of clay and just roll them into a little ball. That one's a bit bigger so just take it off. Roll it into a little ball so you've got two little balls like that. And they're just simply going to go on the front here. Now to stick them onto this clay, what I need to do is had to go off and find a cocktail stick then. So with a cocktail stick or you can use a knife or anything with a little sh um, pointed end and I'm just going to put a couple of lines in here. This is called scoring. A couple of lines here and then where I'm going to stick it to the clay. A couple of lines, a couple of lines and then you get your little pot of slip that you made before. Get the slip, just put the slip onto those lines. You only really, really need to do it on, on, what, on one part. Then you get the little ball, press that little ball in, press the other little ball in like that. And then with your fingers, you just smooth or merge the clay, two different parts of clay into each other. So you just spend a little bit of time doing that all the way around and at the back. Now the bit in the middle will be really hard to get your fingers in so you can get that cocktail stick or a knife or a pencil and that will help you just um, get those two edges in together. There, so you've got the little legs now that are folded under. You can tap it like this to make it nice and flat so that it lies nicely there so that nice lies nicely so now i'm going to put the head on so again on the, this is the back of the head put a few lines which is called scoring and put your lines here because that's where i'm going to attach the head and get my paintbrush and get the slip put the slip on lots of slip there and then get my head and just press my head into the area that's got the slip like that. And then with a cocktail stick or your finger, you can just go around the edges, merging the clay together like that. Okay, so we're nearly there now. All we have to do now is the tail. So just going to get a little bit of the clay and just going to roll it. You can roll it on your hand or you can roll it on a surface. So you roll it nice and thin for the cat's tail. And I'll just break it off where I think it's too big. And again, you just put a couple of score lines in, a couple of score lines on the tail and a little bit of slip. Put that on the score line and then merge the tail on like this and then you can basically make the tail do whatever you want you can just lie it to the side or if you want to sort of put, put it up stick it out a bit you can do now if you do stick the tail up there is a danger of it getting knocked off because it's air drying clay and so if anyone sort of knocked it it would come off so it might be better to have the tail like that because then that's going to be really safe and isn't going to get knocked off. Okay, so your cat has now been made. So what you need to do now, because the clay is really, really soft, so you just need to let it harden up for um, just a few hours, probably three or four hours, and then it's easier to go back into it and to smooth it even more, okay? Um, if you don't like smoothing it with your fingers and you find that difficult, when it's completely dry, you can sponge it with a wet sponge and that helps to smooth it as well. 
Okay, so that's the finished cat and I will um, produce another video to show you how to paint it. So if you would um, um, like to write in the comments below what kind of cat you'd like me to do, that'd be really brilliant. Okay, hope you enjoyed watching that and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.